Since tomorrow is believed to be the last day on Earth for some people, it might be the right time for me to discuss the issue of diabetes and marijuana. We'll talk about it as cannabis because cannabis is how it basically appears in a lot of the PubMed research. It shows that there is in fact a non-psychotropic um, attribute to cannabis that actually can afford a few benefits to diabetes. Research done in Italy back in 2009 showed that cannabis does in fact have a therapeutic effect on painful neuropathy without affecting blood sugars or causing hypoglycemia. Further research done in Israel in 2006 and 2008 showed that cannabis in fact did have a good effect on the development of autoimmune diabetes, that's type 1 diabetes in non-obese diabetic mice. And finally, research done in Italy this past year shows that the bad news for type 2 diabetes is that marijuana use can in fact inhibit the um, production of energy, so it does in fact have sort of a negative effect on people with type 2 diabetes, but again, there was also a flip side to the study that showed that diabetes, people with type 1 diabetes or the onset of type 1 diabetes, cannabis can actually retard the destruction of beta cell function. So there really is a lot to be discussed or discovered about the continued use of cannabis in medical research for diabetes. Until then, we'll just hope and pray that the world doesn't end tomorrow and there'll be further time There'll be more time for discovering the attributes of cannabis in diabetes research.